1.2 ratio rockers on the mini bike and I used 22 pound springs and the 22 pound springs are just not enough and it has a um, even with the rattlesnake cam it will float the valves up at a high rpm so I picked up these 26 pound springs and hopefully that'll be enough spring pressure to do it so I'm going to throw these 26 pound springs on it and see what happens This valve cover. There's that. Alright. Alright. Pull these off here without losing all the parts. Alright, pull off this lash cap. There's that. Now I'm probably gonna fill up fill up the inside of this combustion chamber with some kind of a rope or something so the valves don't pop back down inside. But I'm trying to put the uh, 26 pound springs on. Fill this combustion chamber up with some string. That way it uh, it holds the valves out while I'm trying to push those springs on. Otherwise those things go right inside the head. You can see a big difference between the 22 pound spring and the 26 pound spring. Uh, the 26 is a lot shorter than the 22. Definitely stiffer, but it's definitely a lot shorter too. Spark plug bag in. Does that probably help? You probably run better with it. All right, let's see what we got.
So this beast hit a top speed of 59.61. So it's like a mile an hour faster than the old time. It was 58 point something, huh? All righty, so the 26 pound springs definitely helped it out a lot. I can get it up into the higher RPM band now and it doesn't float the valves anymore. And it actually beat the old time by a mile per hour. So um, yeah, those definitely helped it for this cam. Um, I think 26 pound springs are enough, especially for the stock retainers. I don't want to go too much beyond that unless I upgrade the retainers in the head. But anyway, yeah, so it's definitely, um, that's what it needed.